What's up, Niagara? Off the bat, you're probably wondering why am I in uniform today? A uh, few reasons, actually. The number one reason is uh, I had to do some closet rearranging, and I noticed it. I was wondering if it still fit. haven't worn it in a few years. But I also thought it'd make a good pun for this video, because I'm about to give the mayor some major flack, and uh, I am a retired major, and my name is pronounced Flack. So let's get into it. Um, I've just returned from a trip uh, to Albany uh, to update our state officials uh, on our efforts um, to um, secure property. All right, you guys are probably wondering, who is the AAO that supports the mayor or whose support he has earned? That's the anonymous Albany officials that he met with last week. I surmise. I'm, I'm just guessing because... Not only in that address, but every time I've seen him mention the support that he's getting out of uh, federal levels of government, state level of government, we never, ever hear who these officials are. Not by name, not by office, not even by department. But, you know, maybe no one's actually specifically asked the mayor. So I'll ask the mayor. Mr. Mayor, who are these Officials, what do they officiate? At least, can you tell us that, Mr. Mayor? What do they officiate? You know, I don't know what, you know, maybe there's, um, I don't know, maybe maybe with a unicorn farm. You know, it's kind of like a, a double-edged um, sword. Number one, our state officials, they do nothing with their property. Um, we, we, in Albany, we talked about the progress of our efforts. Um, we also talked about the unicorn farm. I updated our state officials uh, on the fact that we continue to move forward um, with our efforts to take some of their property from them and really put it back to a unicorn farm. Um, our state officials were um, enthused that the city has not given up on that. a unicorn farm. You know, it's remarkable to me that there are some public officials who actually see them, our state officials, um, as a victim. I, I don't know what they're a victim of. As a matter of fact, they're so much not the victim that what they've done is they have deprived city taxpayers and shifted the burden to city taxpayers. Our state officials, when they pay less tax on their property, they're shifting the tax burden to all the rest of us. As a matter of fact, one of the things that was most striking is that they have several unicorn farms there, over 50 unicorn farm, both commercial and residential, that are and being left to deteriorate. Quite frankly, they have left that the unicorn farm um, desolate. But let's not lose sight of one thing. This state official has done nothing, has done absolutely nothing. And as a matter of fact, some of the state officials were wondering why we just didn't take all of the property. I am pleased uh, that our state representatives and our state leaders um, acknowledge and agree um, with our approach. In the end, folks, I know that you're smart enough to see through that. We'll get to where we have to be, and then we'll take um, uh, control uh, of our own downtown destiny instead of leaving it up our state officials to people who really don't care much. And yes, obviously, I've been a little uh, tongue-in-cheek, taking some uh, poetic license, some liberty, the slice and dice things. Um, bring a little levity to the conversation for once. But what I'm trying to get at is the mayor spent a significant time in his weekly address beating up NFR, but he never said NFR. <clears throat> and it kind of uh, makes it clear it applies to a lot of different property owners in Niagara Falls the hyperbole that he used in attacking NFR. And it is, it's hyperbolic. And why do I say that? I mean, since I retired nine years ago and came back to town, I've been hearing about all these boogeymen. Hastings, boogeyman not doing anything with his property. Smoking Joe, boogeyman not doing anything with his property. NFR, boogeyman, not doing anything with the property. And I even heard under the previous administration, oftentimes they blame things on the state and the state was holding us back by not doing things with property. But it's not who owns the property. 
it's a market problem. And we, we have to overcome the market problems. I mean, to NFR's credit, I mean, we can sit there and attack them and pretend like they're not trying to do something right now. But I see no evidence that NFR is holding us back. You want to talk about desolate neighborhoods. There's over 670 different properties owned by the city. Now, some of those are parks and other city structures that are used for operations like the police station and city hall. Many of them are simply vacant. Some of them are non-boarded up structures that absolutely should be and are about to fall over in many cases and pose as much danger to people around those structures as the city has accused uh, Blue Cardinal's property of being on Main Street. So let's not pretend that there isn't a lot of issues for property owners in a city that is deprived of the market opportunities it needs to sustain a city that was built for 108,000 people. It only has 48,000 now. Industry built the city. The industrial era is over. I've gone over that in the past. And uh, it's a new era. It's a digital era. And that's why I'm personally impressed that NFR has managed to partner with a company that builds and operates data centers. Data centers aren't loud, noisy Bitcoin in operations. They're kind of quiet office buildings with a lot more computers than office workers. And they serve a global market in much the same way as Pyron. If you know, Pyron is a company in the middle of the city that used to make these big industrial sized ball bearings from the size of my fist to like the size of the house um, that were exported all over the world for other industrial machinery to be used. But now data is a leading edge of economics across the planet. We have to tap in to the digital global marketplace. That's the opportunity that a data center presents. And when he talks about shifting tax burden and, and depriving the taxpayer of money, by not allowing this to go forward, by staying this way, by trying to litigate this project off the table instead of negotiate that project onto the table, we are depriving ourselves of potentially millions of dollars annually from that project. 1.5 billion. Obviously, it's not going to be assessed at that. Maybe it's only assessed at uh, 500 million. Current tax rate on $500 million worth of property, though, just for the city loan, never mind the school district and the county, School district alone, I'm sorry, city loan, $17 million annually. Now, of course, they're probably going to go get a pilot. Who the heck wouldn't? Pilot doesn't mean they don't pay taxes. They make a payment in lieu of taxes. That's what pilot stands for. Now, that's not into perpetuity either. These graduate and expire over like a decade. So eventually, you're going to get up to the full assessed market value. Well, NFR probably come and try to fight their assessment later? Probably would. Why wouldn't you? If you can save a million dollars a year, we're still going to end up with millions more revenue per year into perpetuity, plus the school district, plus the county. And an additional revenue stream that comes out of something like that is the fact that we have our HRU privilege, hospitality, retail, and utilities, where we get the lion's share of sales tax paid on those things within the city. A high energy business like a data center is going to pay a large utility bill annually, giving us a second revenue stream. Plus all that equipment that they have to purchase, sales tax will be paid on that. Also another way or another revenue stream we would have. So please let's drop this hyperbole. Let's drop these vague nebulous tax. Let's stop doing these stupid somersaults, right? You want an event center, this is a good way to finance it. And we'll get more into the financing in a later video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys got some laughs. Um, 
If the mayor didn't laugh at this one, then frankly, he probably needs to take a vacation and maybe go visit a unicorn.